and welcome! Today we are going to talk about the German Expressionism cinema. So please take your seats, because the show is about to start. It all started with the Expressionists, who were often pessimistic about the human condition. In their paintings, they expressed their deepest emotions. Expressionism was represented in paintings, plays, and films. These films appeared as a way of revealing and representing the life that Germans had during the Weimar period. It took the years to 1919 to 1929. In this period, there was political and social problems and economic depression because of the First World War. Some of the movies that were created between the years 1920 and 1927 belong to this genre, and well, not only the movies that were created in Germany, also the ones that were created in countries such as the United States, Russia and Australia, because it had a strong influence in the cinema. The German Expressionism cinema influenced the film noir and the terror, with the rigid movements, action techniques, and other fantastic elements. And even they had an influence in science fiction with their non-real places. Some examples of German Expressionism cinema are the films The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, created in 1920 by Robert Wayne. A curious fact is that this movie is considered as the first film of this genre. Other movies are, for example, Nosferatu in 1922 and Sunrise in 1927 by Friedrich Murnau. Metropolis, also created in 1927 by Fritz Lang, is considered as the last film of this genre. And you may be wondering, how does the people like these movies if the actors didn't talk? How does the audience understand what they were trying to tell us? Well, this is how they did it. The music, exaggerated movements and expressions were fundamental for the understanding. Strange camera angles, contrast between light and dark, artificial light, shadows and silhouettes, evil characters, fears, phobia, mystery, hallucination, horror themes, false reality, heavy makeup, decorated and artificial sets where the directors could create their own reality are characteristics of the German Expressionism cinema. With this, they could catch the audience's attention and transmit to them all the strong emotions they wanted. Well, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the German Expressionism cinema. Bye-bye!